In this tutorial, we will show how to use the List and Manage Objects tool of the Shadow Scene. This tool will allow you to select, modify or delete all your objects and PV tables from your Shadow Scene. The Advanced Selection dialog can be opened from the Shading Scene by clicking on the menu Tools, List and Management of Objects or by the key shortcut Ctrl G. You will find all the objects and PV tables of your 3D scene in this window. In order to search specific objects from your Shading Scene, you can enter a specific text in the search box. The search is applied on the hash key, type and name columns. To clear the search, clear the content of the search box or left click on Erase. Each column can be filtered and sorted. To filter a column, hover the mouse cursor over the desired column header and left click on the funnel that appears. You can now filter the items you want in the pop-up window. Note that it is possible to filter several columns at the same time. To clear the filtering, left-click on this button. To sort a column, just left-click on the desired column header. This will sort the column in ascending or descending order and a sort symbol will appear on the column. You can select or unselect the objects directly in the list by left-clicking on the objects while holding the control key down. When you close the advanced selection dialog, the selected objects will remain selected in the shading scene. Opens the addition dialog for the selected object. A single object can also be edited by double-clicking on it. Delete the selected objects. Some fields are also editable. These are cells surrounded by a rectangle. If several objects are selected, the addition will be applied in a grouped way to all the selected objects. In order to gain in readability, it is possible to show or hide the columns. Select or unselect columns to show. Also available by right-clicking on the columns header. Note that your choice is saved for the next sessions. By clicking on this button, you display the default columns. In order to use the data linked to the objects outside PVSYS, it is possible to export the displayed list in CSV format. Click on Export button, then Paste, in Excel or any other spreadsheet program. These two windows are displayed simultaneously, so your actions have repercussions in each of them. If you choose an object or a PV array from the list, this object will also be selected in the 3D scene. You can see that when changes are made in the list, these are reflected in the 3D scene. This will give you more flexibility in drawing and modifying your next 3D scene.